right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goran Guitar. Louis Fitzgerald here with Livianka. This song is called Darling. So we covered both of these artists, and it's a great collab there. So we're going to look at this Darling together. We have these four chords that goes in the same way through the entire song, depending on if you're playing the melody or the strumming. So we're going to take a look at the chords first. We're going to do that with the capo set on the first fret. So that is the starting point, the capo on first. And let's start with D minor. So that is open D, second G, third B, and first E. We have that A sharp sus version next. So that's a bar chord where you play the bar on the first fret. You don't have to bar the last E string there, but the five strings below you have to. And then you need to add third on D and third on G. The next chord is the F, still a bar chord, still on first fret, this time over all strings, all right? So that's that, and then you need to add third on A, third on D, and second on G. And the final chord is A minor. And that is open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. All right, so we have the melody first, and that I believe is the main part of the song. It goes like this. Sorry. That's the first point, the first chord, the D minor. And we're gonna start with open D, then two times on the second G, and first E. And a clap. So. Okay, next chord is the A sharp. It follows this chord progression we just learned in the same order. So next is A sharp and it goes like this. So that is first on A, third on G, back to first on A and first E and clap. Here I suggest you hold the chord as it is. The same goes with the next chord, the F. It goes like this. So that is first on E string in the bass, then two times on the third D string, and then first B with a clap. And then you're gonna stay with this F, okay? So you're gonna play this part next. So that is still first on E string in the bass, then third D, and then second G and first B together. This is all from the chord. So that is why I suggest you hold the chord as it is. That's F, and then they have the final part left, that's the A minor. It goes like that. So it's open A, second D, and second G and first B together. And that ends the melody round. So slowly it goes like this. tempo all right so you can keep on with that as far as you want and this song it goes there in the background or prominent sometimes that's a medley now you can go over to the chorus and the chorus is uh, played, yeah, exactly on the chorus, more emphasized there with the strumming, all right? So it follows the same chord progression, D minor, A sharp, F, and A minor. You're gonna play like this. All right, two rounds of that. And you're gonna, of course, have the D minor full chord, and you're gonna have Gonna kind of roll down the chord, really take your time there on the down, and then go up. So and you can have a clap after the up there. So and do the same for A sharp and F. Short pause there after the F, and then you have the A minor two downs ups like that, and that's go. Uh, that is fast down up there. So. And then you start all over again. So down up, down up, down up, pause, and then new. And new round. And 
and so on. You can shift between this strumming and the melody and there you have Louis Fitzgerald's and LeBianca's Darling. Hope you enjoyed it guys. And if you did, feel free to support me on Growing Guitar. Really appreciate all your support. So thank you guys and until next time, play tuned.